come here, 200,000 visitors a year, and they want to know, I want to install solar panels, I want to drive on biodiesel, I want all this new technology. One of the first things we try to remind them of is that before you start going around looking at new energy supply, think about conservation. What we're looking at over my shoulder is the flagship building of Real Goods. This building is a great example of a passive solar design. You'll see that that glass that's facing south is all designed to absorb as much winter sun as possible. The building at the same time as being designed to get warm in the winter is also designed to stay cool in the summer through the use of the overhangs that are designed in just such a way at our latitude so that they allow the low winter sun to penetrate through the windows and yet shade those same windows when the sun is high in the sky during the peak summer months. Those arbors made entirely out of recycled materials are covered with grapevines. Those grapevines provide deep, heavy shade during the summer, thus cooling the building. But then they lose their leaves every fall. Then we're going to have a situation where we've got a nice open arbor that allows the light and the sun and the warmth to penetrate. So we're using the power of nature to reduce the amount of power that we use inside the building. That's what we call permaculture, passive solar design, and it's also quite attractive.